the first step in head scanning some an entire person will be to scan around the entire body of the person trying to go from left to right trying to keep your scans in sequential order so that you don't get confused while while aligning the scans the next step will be to take a telephoto lens and start scanning all the detailed sections the lower sections underneath since you will not be getting underneath the neck and uh, behind the back of the neck through the wide lenses Following that, using the telephoto lens in the center of the face, you can get high detail in the nose, eyes, and mouth regions. This will help later on when you cut out the poor quality data due to the moving of the subject while scanning with the wide lens. And finally, using the telephoto lens so that you could scan the section of the, the ears that you wouldn't get nice quality data while you're scanning with the wide lens as well. The next step will be to, to volume merge all of your middle lens data at once. This will give you an overall view of what the entire head scan will look like. This way you'll be able to see where your missing patches of data were and you can simply use the cut and paste tool so that you will be able to put in the patches that you will be missing. Additionally, you will be doing a volume merge on the front of the face. You can get nice quality data with high detail for the nose, mouth, and eyes as we had discussed using the telephoto lens as well as finally cutting out the poor data for the ears and substituting in the telephoto data that you will volume merge together. Here you'll see simply cutting out the poor data uh, from, the, from the original head and substituting in the telephoto data from the front of the face. You can see that this data is of much higher quality than the data used for the middle lens. Once you're pasted inside of there, we will end up doing a volume merge to get a very nice smooth mesh uh, to create a final shape of the head. This exact method will also be used for the ears to create the high detail and again for any other patches of missing data for the face. This includes undercuts underneath the necks uh, and hair around the sides and the back. The next step will be use the volume merge data and complete a rewrap on the entire face. This will fill in any holes, clean up any of the large patches that are missing and smooth out any of the Poor, poor patches where you can't get around where the subject has moved during scanning. As you can see, the general areas of high detail have been filled in, including the ears, the face, the nose, and the mouth. Using the rewrap feature, we will set up several functions that will be able to maximize the quality of the data. We want to use high accuracy so that we don't have too much of a smooth face. We want to keep the overall smoothness low, and we want to keep our extended boundaries on and generally flat. As you can see here, this will cover up all the holes, it will create a little more of a natural look for the hair, and finally start to smooth out any of the areas, as I said, poor quality where you have the subject has moved while you are scanning. Following these simple procedures, you will be able to scan any, any specific subject and be able to get a nice high quality, smooth, dated scan from it.